Because white sharks are endothermic, we find them in oceans across the entire globe. But does that mean there's one population of white sharks that spread out? In this week's Shark Minutes, we're going to find out how many different populations of white sharks there are. There's only one species, but there are genetic populations, which you might call subspecies. Okay. Uh, they don't interact genetically with this. They still haven't separated enough to be called different species. There's one in the Northeast Pacific, one in the Northwest Pacific, in Japan, Taiwan, to Russia. Uh, in the Southern Hemisphere, we have a distinct population in South Africa. And in Australia and New Zealand, we have, uh, at, at one level, we're quite similar genetically, but uh, when you delve down into the very fine detail, the Australians have identified two different populations. There are two distinct populations in Australia, is that That's correct? right, two genetically distinct populations. So the cutoff line seems to be around Bass Strait um, in Victorian waters. Sal Jorgensen not only helped discover the White Shark Cafe, but also helped show that the northern and southern populations of eastern Pacific white sharks do not seem to interact. The northeastern Atlantic also has a population that moves up and down the coast. The Mediterranean has a population and South Africa has at least one population. So you've got the this, this southern population, which is South Australia and Western Australia, and then you've got a, a genetically distinct population um, from New South Wales and Queensland. Tracking studies have showed that those sharks that have been tagged in New South Wales have travelled some as far as New Zealand. But whilst there isn't genetic mixing between those two populations, there is some small degree of physical mixing. So we have had sharks that we've tagged here in SA that have travelled through to New South Wales, up to Queensland. We had one recently that we satellite tagged that traveled and hung around in Victoria for a long time and then headed down to the um, Tasmanian western coast. But Tasmania doesn't have its own? No, it doesn't. That's part of the, the eastern population. When I spoke to Malcolm Francis in Wellington, yeah. he said that New Zealand has two genetic populations and Australia has two genetic populations. That's right. So in this part of the world, it, there are four genetic populations of white sharks? That's right. So far we have we don't have enough information to know in New Zealand. But our tagging data shows that uh, when we tag animals at uh, Stewart Island in the south, the Chatham Islands in the east of New Zealand, they never directly interact. They don't swim from one of those islands to the other. Hmm. So we think we may have two populations here as well. We haven't done the genetics work to confirm that. Quick point of clarification. Two groups of sharks in one major area that do not physically interact does not necessarily mean genetically independent sharks. And in Malcolm Francis's defense, he suspects that they are genetically different, but they are still working on the genetic proof to back this up. In the other areas where there seem to be separate populations, what do you think the chances are that they will turn out to be genetically separated as well? 